Hi there. Are we going? Are we on? Hello. I'm Jeanette. Welcome to the Craft Stash Facebook Live Show. We're super excited today because we have a special guest, Christina. Christina's here. Christina Griffiths of Card Making Magic. Hello. It's always nice to be here. Aww. It is. I get, um, I get quite excited when I have to come down and oh, I'm see so everybody again. It's lovely. Yes. We always have a great time. And if you are not familiar with who Christina Griffiths is, she's a wonderful crafter, die cutting queen of the universe. <laughs> Really. <laughs> card making queen too you make some amazing cards <laughs> so she's joining me today because we're going to talk all about die cutting we have some machines to share with you today we've got lots going on today actually we do we've got some <laughs> good news coming out today yes very exciting news and I'm going to be reading your comments so make sure you leave a comment for Christina say hello if you have any questions are you up for questions yes okay <laughs> <Not best. laughs> yeah and uh, don't forget to share this broadcast with your friends in your craft groups uh, with your fa family sharing is caring it is it is, and it's easy to share on Facebook isn't it yeah yes yeah. yeah. I think it's at the bottom you just click share yeah. and it'll go out to your friends and your family on Facebook and also any craft groups that you might be a part of. We have an amazing show today because we're going to be talking all about die cutting, but we also have a giveaway. Every, we do. Every week we have a giveaway. Yeah. And we're going to give away, there's going to be three winners today, three prizes. Do you want to hold up what we're going to be giving away, Christina? Yay! There we go. <laughs> So we're going to be giving away the six by six. That's the six by six. Yep. That's the five by seven. The yes. complete card and box die sets. Give it a shake because there's so many dies. <laughs> there's so many dies in there. So we're going to have three lucky winners will win both. Really? Yes. So three, three people. So it's not three people winning one of each. No. Or one. One, three people will get both. Each set, yes. Brilliant. Like, this is a prize. Fabulous. And three people, three lucky winners, will, uh, will win. Great stuff. Yeah. So we'll announce in just a bit how to enter the giveaway. Let me check to make sure all is well on, uh, on Facebook land. <laughs> to make sure that we're on, to make sure people are commenting. Let's see. How's your summer coming along, Christina? Summer? Oh, it's too hot for me. I melt. <laughs> I just disappear in a big heap. It's, uh, <laughs> I prefer it when it's a bit cooler. Me too. Me too. Sorry, guys. All right. Oh, I see us. There we are. See us there? Yep. 39 people tuning in so far. Hi. <laughs> hello. Okay, we've got some people saying hello. We've got uh, Jennifer Bruce says hello. Shelly Yalden says whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Yvonne Hodge, good afternoon everyone. Angela Lewis, hello. Margaret Smith says, wow, what a great prize. It is. Fantastic. Uh, Linda, ooh, that's a hard name. Vicucus. Vicucus. <laughs> she says, hi ladies, look forward to your Fridays. What a fab giveaway. And um, Yolande, Yolande Dupree says, it's cold in South Africa. Hmm, lucky. Lucky, we wish it was a little bit cooler. <laughs> yes, we do. Well, I do anyway. <laughs> it's really warm in here. All right. So keep your comments coming. And if you have any questions for Christina, you can just leave those in the comment yeah. section. Yeah. And I'll do my very best to answer them. <laughs> she knows all, guys. <laughs> it's so fun to have you, Christina. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So besides the uh, die cutting machines, die cutting, which we're going to get all into in just a minute. And the giveaway, we have a brand new collection on the Craft Stash website, which is from Pretty Quick. Do you want to help me hold these up, Christina? Yep. Yeah. All right, so there are 10 designs. This is the Paper Cut uh, Birds collection. Very intricate. There we go. What are you, how are you feeling about these? They're very nice and I can see there's one there that's got a parrot in it and I Oh got, yeah, it's this one. Yeah, yeah, I've got visions of colouring that in with some <laughs> colour markers and that would be really nice on the front of a card. Uh, yes. And what's great about these is that they're just one single die, so you just run it's like a one pass kind of <laughs> yeah. project. Yeah. Make some super quick cards. Very quick and easy cards, just what it says on the pack. Pretty quick. <laughs> yes. Impressive results at once. Yep. 
You all right? Yes, I've got them. <laughs> so let's show these uh, close up. Oh, and behind the camera today is Cher helping us out because Kath is on holiday. Thank you, Cher, so much for helping us today. We really appreciate oh, it. Just taking some time off from Mamma Mia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're going to show these two up close. <clears throat> so this first one, we're not going to show the entire thing because we do want to focus more on the die cutting. Okay. You know, on die cutting machines and talking about die cutting and people asking questions and whatnot. So we're just going to show a few of these designs, but you can see the whole collection on the Craft Stash website. So that's the puffin, and then we have a gorgeous swan. Look at that. Nice, right? Do a really pretty background behind that and do it in black card would be a real outstanding piece. Yes. And also, it. They're great for like paper piecing. Look at this flamingo. Aren't they like, they're just so intricate. They're very snippable as yes, well. Yes, they are. Yeah. Yeah. You can cut the, the bird out of the complete background and use it as, as a, a, a different piece to your cards. Yeah. You can use them as stencils as well. <gasps> stencils. <clears throat> yes, great idea. And then this one is the owl. I made a card with this and it just came together like so quickly. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe how fast it was. Yeah. <laughs> So right now, these are on sale on the Craft Stash website. Oh, let's show that parrot that you were mentioning. Where's it gone? There it is. There it I is. I think that's brilliant, that one. Yeah, isn't that Really great? beautiful colors you could do that in. Yeah, so uh, right now, these are on sale on the Craft Stash website, and you can get a 20% discount with the code PQCUTS20. And they're regularly $8.99, but you can get 20% off with a discount, which is awesome. Good saving. Oh, oh wait, I want to show this one. This is probably my favorite, the stork. Isn't lovely, that nice? Lovely for baby cards. I it? know, I know, so nice. And then I made this card there. I did a little bit of paper piecing all over that card. <laughs> what do you think? That's pretty. <laughs> it is. And, it, and you've done one with the black out there it is. That's the one. That is so, it's striking because of the black and the, the nice inked background. It really does stand out. This is the eagle. Yeah, so that's just, just black card. Yeah. You ran it with the die just yeah. one time. Very easy. And then just did a colorful background. Especially if you're going to be batch making cards, you know, and a lot of people do because they, they give their cards to charity. So yeah. if you're making a lot of cards in one go, doing them like that with just an ink background and then the black piece on top, the silhouette on top, is, yes. is something really quick and easy. So easy. So yeah, don't forget to take advantage of that discount code PQCUTS20, because um, these are just so nice. Which one is this one? Oh, there it is, back to the owl. This is the one I was saying that just came together so quickly. Yes. Because I die cut it in like a teal cardstock and then I did like a gilding wax or yeah. gilding polish and bronze. Super easy. Lovely. It is. And you've got it on parchment as well, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, that is nice. Lovely. Right? Right. So cool. And then I think there's one more that I wanted to show. Nope, we showed that one. Oh, this one. This is the pear. That's the one. And I did him in white and then I layered him up a few times in white and then the rest is colorful background it kind of looks like hard candy <laughs> it's a nouveau drop so just filled in with a layer of nouveau yeah. drops different color nouveau drops well that's the one i could envisage doing with the the, the alcohol markers or even yeah. watercolors just to bring out the the different feathers on that bird yeah all the detail yeah yeah do you prefer alcohol marker coloring or water coloring? I do. do I, I treated myself at Christmas and I was really pleased when I got them and I was so surprised that I bought these for myself. Yeah. But I bought myself a set of Copics. <gasps> Ooh, and you Absolutely splurged. Fantastic. You splurged. I did. Okay, so let me read some comments to see what everybody's saying. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, amazing prices. It's a deal. Wait, no, wait. Oh, prizes. <laughs> Amazing prices and yeah. prizes. Amazing prices. People are excited about the giveaway. <laughs> I don't blame them. We'll get to that real soon. Um, sorry. There's so many comments, guys. Uh, Deidre Burns. Hi, ladies. Just joined in. Looks good. 
uh, Chris Pointer. Good afternoon, Christina and Jeanette from Christina's hometown of Blackpool. Hi. Oh, maybe he's your neighbor. <laughs> uh, Aisha Weatherly, who is a regular viewer. Thanks, Aisha, for tuning in. Oh, she says, all so cute dyes. Love them all, but my favorite has to be the flamingo as I've got everything in. Whoa. Sorry, as I've got everything in them, I am even wearing a top today with flamingos on it. <laughs> I like the flamingo as well. <laughs> yeah. There it is. That's the flamingo. And one. then the swan too. Um, wait, who's it? Oh, Deidre also loves the swan. Jeanette Handley, beautiful dyes. Can see them with Distress Ink backgrounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You like your Distress Inks too, right? I do. Yeah. yeah. I'm into Distress Oxides at the moment. They oh. are... They're just so individual and so easy to work with and they blend beautifully. Absolutely fabulous. They do. And there's new colours coming out uh -huh. too or they already came out I think? No, not yet. Oh, not yet? No, not yet. There's 12, 12 new colours being released. <sighs> Exciting. Pretty soon. So many, so many good things coming up. Huh, Christina? Good things right around <laughs> the corner. <laughs> Um, Liz Jarman loves the eagle. It's her favorite. Marie Cleary, loving these dyes, all of them. Donna Smith, beautiful card, so simple but lovely. Aw, thanks, Donna. Um, lovely color combo. Annette Norton says lovely color combo. Thanks, Annette. Uh, Beverly is watching from North Queensland, Australia. Oh, hello. And she loves the parrot, too. <laughs> Um, let's see. Chris Neal is watching from across the pond. Nice, nice. Uh, da, 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 da. So many comments, you guys. We love it. You know what? What I love is that they share comments with us, but then they also talk to each other. Like yes, because yeah. they all tune in. And when you think about it, if if it's sort of lunchtime here, it must be in Australia. It must be the middle of the night. <laughs> so thank you for either getting up early or staying up late. <laughs> yes. And I want to miss your giveaway. And this giveaway is open worldwide, so yes, you can win from anywhere in the world. So that's really exciting. Uh, Linda says, "Wow, these are amazing! You can do the same card but just change the color background yeah. for different takes on it." Yep. Uh, Chris Pointer again. Christina's box and card die sets are absolutely brilliant. I use them all the time. Oh, thank you. Aw, does that like warm your heart? Yes, it does. <laughs> it does. You must get a lot of people that just mention how much they love your I do your, a lot of people size. write and tell me that they've bought what or what they've bought from the collection and how they've used it I get lots of photographs sent to me mm. to to put on the on the website not the blog on the oh, website yeah. and it seems to be going down very well people are enjoying working with it it's easy to use yes. um, I don't know if you want me to say anything but sure. all the dies all the dies all the embossing folders Everything will go through um, a smaller die cutting machine. The only bit that doesn't is the piece that makes the actual box. Right. But if all you've got is a smaller machine, you can still make the box by simply tracing around the outside edge of the die, marking where the, um, the fold lines are, and then simply cutting it out with some scissors and using a scoreboard to put the fold lines in. And you can still make your box. Do two of those, you can still make your box. All the rest of these will go through a smaller machine. Nice, thank you for that. That's a great tip. There is actually a video. Oh. Um, I've done a video to show you exactly what I'm talking about there, just in case it's not, yes. it's not clear. But I've tried to make it as clear as I can. Do you want to tell us where, what? Uh, your YouTube channel is so everyone can find you? Uh, just put in Christina Griffiths and you'll find me on YouTube. <laughs> um, card Making Magic, you'll find me on YouTube. Uh, my blog your is blog, yeah. Flowers, Ribbons and Pearls because that's all the things I like to stick on a card <laughs> and I stick lots of them on a card. Um, but yeah, you can find me in a lot of different places. Facebook, Twitter, Oh, you're on Twitter? I oh, am. look at you, um, fancy. I'm on Instagram, but I don't have to use it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Oh, I was talking to you about your Instagram account and yeah. asking if she had two dogs. No, one dog. Just one dog and my daughter's dog that we look after. What's your dog's name again? Mine's yeah. my dog's Ruby. Ruby. Aww. Yeah. And Vicky's dog is Dougal. 
That's Ruby and Dougal. They're yeah. friends. They're hanging out right now, aren't they? They are. Yeah, <laughs> they are. They're playing together right now. So yeah, if you just uh, probably if you just Google Christina Griffiths, she'll pop up. You, she's you'll like, find. She's me. a world famous craft celeb. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to rearrange the desk here, move some things out of the way because we have three die cutting machines to share with you, and we're gonna we're gonna use them all. Right. In case you know you've been thinking about investing in a die cutting machine, or maybe you want an upgrade, or you're thinking about you know switch twist switching it up yeah i mean some people um don't use dies yet so if they're thinking of starting to collect dies you will need a die cutting machine to use them mm -hmm. and it can be uh, quite an expensive collection when you've finished so you need to buy the best die cutting machine that you can afford in your price range and I think these three that we've got here <laughs> yeah. are just absolutely amazing. Yes, we have three to share with you. Do you want me to move this one out? Yeah, yeah. I have the... Oh, I can't the strength. <laughs> They're very heavy, guys. So I feel like in general, die cutting machines are very heavy, right? And they can be big and bulky. So that's something to consider when you are thinking of purchasing as a machine. A machine is how much room do, I, do you have, you know, like in your craft room or your craft desk? Yeah, and there's quite a lot to choose from. Um, there's so many. So There are. So we have the Cricut Cuddlebug Gemini Junior, which is an electronic die cutting machine, and the Spellbinders Platinum. So, lots. And we're going to be die cutting um, the Pretty Quick Birds, so you can see. Okay. Right? Which one do you want to start off with, Christina? Well, I have this one you, yes. and I have this one the back. Gemini Junior. <laughs> Thank you. Both, well I've never tried the Cuttlebug so I can't really Oh okay. But I believe it's a good oh, machine. You will but have this one today. this one oh, I love this one. <laughs> I use mine every day and I stroke mm. it. It's it's such a good machine and it's absolutely solid. And you can just Fold the, the sides down mm -hmm. and it's got the rollers in there and it's got the wide mouth. Yes. So this is what I was saying about the dies. The, any of the dies, the box dies, all the, the stuff in my collections will go through there. So if you've got one of these, you can use everything that there is. And it's just a, a really good quality machine. Yes, and it's there's beautiful. There's also um, the Spellbinders Platinum Six. Yes, there and is. that one has a smaller platform yes, than the Platinum. This one is an eight and a half inch platform, which is what you want to keep in mind as well. Because yes, you can work with larger dies, larger embossing folders with a bigger, wider platform. Yes, but um, gosh, <laughs> you bring out the die cutting machines, and, and I lose track of things because they get real excited about die cutting and die cutting machines. But I wanted to announce the giveaway question. So as we are showing off these wonderful machines, people can answer the giveaway question yeah. so that they can enter to win, be one of three lucky people to win the Christina box sets. So the question is, and you can just answer it in the comments below, if you were to buy a die cutting machine for someone, which one would you pick? And why would you pick that purse? I mean, why would you pick that machine? And you can even tag them in the comments too. <laughs> that's a that's a hard like if you were to buy a gift for someone like which which die cutting machine would you pick for them that's hard <laughs> it's, it is hard. it is because there's so many different die cutting machines on the market yeah but like i said my personal choice is this one with the, the wider button. mouth the only thing with this is that when you buy this you only get the small plates so obviously the box die won't go through this oh you need the bigger you need the bigger plates that will fit this Plate yeah, this, these to all go come. through the machine. Yeah. These all come with it, but you're saying that the cutting plates yes. need to be the bigger ones. Yes, you need the bigger ones. Yeah. So yeah, all these platforms come with the uh, Spellbinders Platinum. And this comes with its own yeah. plates. And yes. Um, there's a magnetic mat with this as well yeah. and uh, an embossing mat. Yes. The booklets on both will tell you exactly 
what sandwich to make right. but the beauty of this one is that the sandwiches that you need to make are also on this cutting plate uh, on this platform yeah this platform. is not a cutting plate you yeah, know <laughs> don't cut it on does, this, it does on it. this is but it tells cutting. you how to make your sandwich up so you've yeah, got all the information really there that you need that's really helpful um because yes with the other ones like the cuddle bug and the gemini you have the little booklet the to booklet. look through but this one has it right whoa <laughs> right on there so that's really helpful very nice. All right. Do you want to have a play with this, Christina? I'm going to hand you some paper. And which one do you want to cut out? Uh, you lean towards the parrot? You, yes. you really like that parrot. I do like that. Parrot. All right. Yeah. Let's... Have you been using one of these as cutting plates? Oh, no. Okay. I don't think it's ever been used, has it? Okay. No. No, the cutting plates are king. brand new. They will oh, stay like that for you. long. <laughs> yeah, no. The, um... They are pristine at the moment, <laughs> but after you've done a few cuts, they will mark, and that's quite normal, so don't worry about that. So she's got her dye, a little parrot dye. Yeah. Some paper. There you yeah. go. Now, it doesn't matter which way around you put these in. Um, you can put the dye down first and the card on top. And you could, or you can put your card down first and your die on top. Once you've got your sandwich made, again, it doesn't matter which way around it goes in the machine. But what, which one you use as your cutting plate is the one that you need to keep as your cutting plate because it will mark. Mm, okay. okay. So we can just pop that in there. And that's quite normal, that's just the dye cutting through the paper. It's not breaking the machine. <laughs> it so does make some loud cracks. It does, it does crack. So there it's gone now, it's gone through one pass with the machine and we'll just take it off. Okay, so you can push out all the little waste pieces. And there you've got your beautiful parrot. Now, if that was done in white card, you could do some really bright and special feathers on that bird. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's also snippable. You can snip the bird out. You can snip the leaves out or the flowers out, and you can use them as stamps. If you cut that out of foam, mm. you can add that to a, a stamping block and stamp a complete leaf background for your cards. So there's quite a few ways that you can use these dies. What if you were paper piecing? What you tips could, yeah. would you have for someone that would be paper piecing this, you think? I would probably stick to plain colours because if you try and paper piece with a pattern on your card, you need a small pattern, otherwise it gets lost in all the, the little bits. But you could paper piece the flowers, you could paper piece the leaves. You can do all sorts with it. It's just, it's just a really pretty die. Yeah, and if you're not familiar with paper piecing, all that means is that you're adding different layers of uh, cardstock, colored yeah. cardstock, right on top, on just lining them up. Yeah, on the different yeah. little. You might, for instance, if you were paper piecing this, you might cut the parrot out, say three times, and then cut the the top part out and have that in one color, then have a, a the the lower wing in another colour yeah. and the tail feathers in another colour and layer them all up and that will make you a really nice topper for you for your cards. Beautiful. So yep, we're loving, we're loving the, do you want to just throw that in here? Now if you see what I mean, look, I've only done one <laughs> cut but it's made a mark on the... Oh yeah, let me, let me show that. On the, sure, can we do a close up of this? Thank you. So yeah. It marks up your cutting plates yeah. whenever you're die cutting. So the next time but I was normal. die cutting, I would make sure that I use this as my cutting plate mm -hmm. so as not to mark up the other mm, got sheet. It. That's a good tip. Do you want to put the little fallout in here? Yeah. <laughs> I won't throw it all over. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that because I have to clean it up after. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So to, sorry, just a reminder to uh, enter to win uh, Christina's giveaway which is a set of the box kits. All you have to do is answer the question. If you were to buy a die cutting machine for someone, which would it be and why? And you can even tag the person that you would buy uh, the machine for. That would be a really nice friend. <laughs> you, you certainly would. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's switch it up here. We're going to switch machines. Let's do the cuddle bug because you said you've never used this I've one never before, used right? Before. All right. So let's. Let's watch Christina. So just put them on there. Okay, let me 
Maybe I should move this whole thing out of the way, yeah? Sorry. I'm melting. <laughs> You're warm? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's very warm in the studio it's with, warm. with all the lights on us. Oh, and it has this little handle too. Pops right up. Pops right up. I'm going to put this on the floor out of the way. And then we have the cuddle bug. Isn't that cute? It is. So again, you, you pull oh, the your plates right. down. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to turn it around because I'm right. Oh, oh. You can't. yeah. When you open the yeah, when you the open these up, it suctions it to the desk. Yeah, so it doesn't move. <laughs> and there we've got the handle. Okay, yeah. which in turn moves the rollers inside. And then now that's solid on the desk, so it's not. It won't move. move. No. And then the cuddle bug comes with platforms as well, different platforms that you'll need to emboss and to die cut. So mm -hmm. those are all the platforms for that. And it also comes with um, the, an embossing folder and a wafer thin die for you to try out. So the, the plates are numbered in there, or oh, lettered, aren't they? Yes. That's, that's A, that's your, your base plate. Yes, I usually use, me, I use a Big Shot, usually Sizzix Big Shot, but the booklet, you just refer to the booklet. Yeah. <laughs> So do I use the two B plates. Yeah, so you use the A. Yeah. And then the B on top. And then the paper and the... And the die. No, just kidding. That's the embossing folder sandwich. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> wrong one. I was reading the wrong diagram. <laughs> if this goes wrong, it's her fault, not mine. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So you need your A plate. Right. So that's that out. one. And then the gray little, like, rubbery, rubbery mat. Then a cutting pad on top of that. That's the embossing mat, is it? You can use it for embossing as well, but for die cutting, you need that okay. one. Yeah. And then a plate on top of that one. Right. Tara, can you do the top down so we can see what Christine yeah, is doing? There we go. Oops. Oh, there it is. No, no it's a Oh, plate. sorry. Okay. <laughs> right. So we've got the, the A plate in yeah. there. Yep. We've got the gray mat. I'll give you a little fan here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> And we've got the B plate. Mm -hmm. Right, so now we put the die in. We'll use the same die. Shall you want to use the same die? All right. Yeah. All right. And we'll use, another, then we put the card paper. in. Mm -hmm. And then we put the other B plate on top. Yep, yep. Okay. And then you just roll it through. You roll it through because I can't <laughs> reach it from here. Are you sure that's, that's the, the right sandwich? Yeah, yeah. It's the right one. There it is. It also makes that clicking. Yeah, it's just the, it's just the die going through. So again, are we top down? Yeah, yeah, still top down. Okay. So again, you need to push out all the little waste pieces and you have your die cut. Now, if it's not cut properly. Let's move it closer. And it's way. not cut properly on this one. No. You may need to just run it through again. Mm -hmm. You can also do something called shimming, which is just to add another piece of card on the top, which just makes it a little bit thicker to go through the machine. Yeah. I think for this one, I feel like it was saying to put the die face down. Which might help. It but doesn't yeah. usually make any difference yeah, no, it's which still way the around same, It's still the same pressure. Yeah, it's still going through with the same pressure. Yeah. So there's some more little bits. No, but it did it did cut pretty pretty well. Just a few little bits. Yeah, just a few little bits. It would have needed another pass through the machine. Yeah. So you can always sit that back in the die and put it through again. Yeah. And sometimes that happens with like intricate dies. Sometimes they are a little bit yes. more difficult yes. to and you, and you can, sure I don't know if this through. has one, but you can get, um, especially with the Gemini, it, it has a metal shim and that really does help you to cut your dies out. Yes. All right. So that's the cuddle bug for you guys. And all these die cutting machines and more are available on the uh, Craft Stash website. There's lots of machines on there. <laughs> lots to pick from. So that's what we wanted to show you, just like a sampling of all the different machines that you can get. There's so many. So many, so so many. Oh, I don't think it's switched on yet. Oh, okay. oh right here on the back. It's on got a little right. switch. Okay. So, so we've switched it on at the back. Yep. And now we can switch it on there, yep. and it lights, lights up. up. See, it lit up right here. Okay. All right. So where are your plates? Let me get that. Oh, okay. Careful with that metal one. <laughs> right. So there's your instruction booklet. Mm -hmm. These are the things that you get with the. Um, with the machine. Gemini Jewelry. 
yeah, it's a lovely deep embossing folder. There's your embossing mat, and here are your plates. Now, Jeanette was saying before that she's cut her fingers on this. So a little tip, just get some masking tape and masking tape around the edge, and that will stop it from cutting your fingers. <laughs> yes. I know, because I've cut my fingers as well. <laughs> it's so sharp, so just be really careful with this until you put that up. Uh... Can they use washi tape as well, just like, Masking tape or washing tape? Washing tape, tape. Washi yeah, tape. Okay. Yeah. All right. So these are your dies that come with it. Oh, yeah. So you get your dies and your folder. Right. And that's your magnetic sheet. Mm -hmm. You have one of these? I do uh -huh. have one of these. How many, yeah. how many die cutting machines do you have? Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> tell us, tell us. Do you right. have one of each? <laughs> I've got quite a few. Yeah? Yeah, I've got quite a few. Yeah. So that's the base plate. Mm -hmm. This plate now goes on top, okay? You can put your magnetic sheet in next. Now the thing to do is not to put your die facing down into that magnetic sheet mm. or you'll have an intricately shaped fridge magnet. <laughs> Make sure your die's facing upwards. Can we do the top of the thing? Sure. Yep. Yeah. Put the card in. Oh, can you move it just a hair, just closer to okay. the center? There we go. Okay. And put your cutting plate on top. And then all you do is just feed that through the machine. And it's electronic. It does it for you. No need to hand crank. No, you can be doing something else while you're waiting for this. That's amazing. So that's and really. There we are. Yeah. That has cut, look, I don't even have to pull things out of that. That's cut beautifully. There you go. Oh, that's gorgeous. And this is great for like, if you have any sort of like arthritis problems or like, you know, you don't have a lot of strength in your yeah. hands. And all these bits look that are the waste pieces. Mm -hmm. If you did that in different card, you could then place it back into the, the little paper piecing, huh? into the die cut itself and paper piece it to have a different background to your card. Yeah, we have all that fallout yeah. from the other one, from the other pieces, so you would just have to <laughs> find the uh, Find your jigsaw pieces. <laughs> it's just basically like putting a, a puzzle piece together. It is. <laughs> nice. It is, but have we got the long piece that goes in there? I'm sure we do. I'm sure we do. Yeah, we do. That one? Yeah, well, let's just try that in. Yeah. Oh, we've got the green too. We've got this yeah, green. There we go, look. Yeah. So you could play jigsaws with it once you've mm -hmm. put it on. Yep. And this goes over there. Yeah. Nice. So that's how you can do some paper piecing as well as the smaller piecing with the bird. Yeah. With the actual parrot. Don't throw out that fallout. Don't throw it out. You can you can save it and use it for yeah. paper piecing. You can. Ooh, so many people entering the giveaway, answering the question. Who would you buy a die cut? Which machine would you buy a die cut of that special person? Why can't I speak right now? It's too warm. <laughs> <laughs> if you were going to buy a die cutting machine for a special someone, what machine would it be and why? why? Sorry. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's read some of these entries. Oh, wait. Sorry. I just want to read this sweet comment from Sherrod Hudson. Oh my gosh, Christina, your voice brings me back to years ago when I first started crafting. It's thanks to your awesome demos and your easy tutorials uh, that she's still crafting today and doing so much more. So just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. Aww. Okay, so Jean King says, I would definitely buy a friend a cut and boss. This machine is awesome and takes all dies from thinlets to bigs dies and everything in between. And it's A4. And it's so easy to use, she loves it. It is, I have one of those as well. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It is. Because yeah, these are wafer thin dies, but there are other dies which are steel rolled dies, which are a little bit thicker, and steel rolled dies don't fit in, in They that won't one. fit in they that, fit no. In that they one. will fit in the... Um, platinum. In the platinum, in the spellbinders yeah. as well. And they don't fit in the color bug, I don't think. So also something to remember is, if you are wanting to invest in steel rule dies, which cut thicker materials. Yeah, steel rule dies are brilliant if you do things like quilting, say. Yeah. Because you can cut probably six layers of cotton fabric 
through with the steel rule dies, which is, is quicker when you're doing the quilting because you've got six pieces cut all at once. But although this is only a small mouth, it, these dies will cut fabric and they will cut yeah. felt. And they'll definitely cut um, fun foam. Fun foam. Yes. And yeah. with the fun foam, you can create your own stamps from any dies that you've got. Nice. Okay, so Tina Irvine says, I have the Big Shop Plus, but would love a Gemini Junior, and she would get one for her sister who started her off on crafting. <laughs> That's the kind of sister you want. <laughs> right. Do you have siblings, Christina? Sorry? Or do you have siblings? I've got two sisters. Aw. I'm the youngest of six. I'm the youngest. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see, let's see. Big Shop Plus, and one would like a Big Shot Plus as well. Big Shot Pluses are also, the Big Shot Plus machines, they're also great, right? Big yes. Shot from Sizzix. Um, let's see, let's see. Sorry, just reading some more of your comments. Uh, Annette Norton says, ooh, a new A4 size machine, Platinum, or the Gemini, hard to decide which. And she would um, say the gift was for herself. <laughs> she would buy herself. That's the best person to buy a present for. <laughs> <laughs> she said maybe she could get her husband to buy it. <laughs> That's why I bought myself some Copics, because I was the best person to buy them for. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, let's see, let's see, sorry. So many people are, are, are like declaring their love for their favorite, <laughs> for their favorite die cutting machine, because everyone has like different, different ones that they love. So Angela Lewis says she loves the Gemini and the Cut and Boss. Um, she got the Gemini Junior. This is quicker than the cut and boss, but you can cut larger dies in the cut and boss, and you need to check the instructional leaflet for the plate combinations. But both are great. Yeah, so don't don't toss out that <laughs> instructional oh, leaflet. Oh no, no, no! <laughs> Keep them safe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can even like cut them out and laminate them, just so you have them on hand. Um, let's see, Sharon Hudson. Did I already read this? No, no. Sharon Hudson says it's got to be the Gemini only because it's electric and automatic, so less stress on your hands and joints. Awesome for those suffering from arthritis and joint issues. Um, I have no one else who I know personally that crafts apart from me, <laughs> and also the pressure is even so it cuts well. And she owns a spellbinder machine, which she loves, but would prefer an automatic due to her joint problems. They do a bigger size. This is a Gemini Junior. Yes, but they do a bigger size Gemini as well, don't they? Right. Yeah, and that yeah. one's on the uh, Craft Stash website as well, yeah. I believe. So yeah, see, some people have like more than one machine as well. So it's okay. It's okay that you have more. <laughs> that you have lots of die cutting machines. Claire, our Claire Rogers also likes to collect die cutting machines. Uh, Christine Marshall says she likes the X cut as it's so easy to use and you're totally in control of the space and the rollers. It also stores away easy as I have to craft in my kitchen, so space saver is a big thing for yes. me. Yeah. Yeah, because they are kind of big and bulky, so. Can I just borrow this? Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. No, it's, it's really warm here. Sorry about that, Christina. I'm absolutely melting. <laughs> All right. So let's see, Mary Smith would pick the Gemini because it is electric so everyone can use it, especially those who might have trouble turning a handle. Yes. She loves her Gemini, it's on the table all the time, and also I uh, can cut intricate dies without any problem. Yes. Yeah, I feel like the Gemini Junior is definitely for really intricate dies. Yes. It's, it'll just do. And you have some intricate dies too, huh, in your collection? In my collection yeah. I do, yeah, but every one of them will go through this. Yeah. Um, Sometimes you need the um, the metal shim. Yeah. But I've never had a problem with that yeah. metal shim cutting really That's tiny good. dies yeah. in that, really tiny patterns in that. Yeah. Um, except minus the box die, like yeah. that big, yeah. that big box. Yeah. But they'll cut all the other ones. Yeah. And all I mean by that is, you know, every other die will go through. But if you can see, look, that just will not go through the mouth of that machine. Yeah. So that's why you need an info platform to use the box. All right. Uh, Louise, no Louise Nowhere has a question. Have you ever done a YouTube of your craft room, Christina? She would love to see, must be amazing. Yes, I have. I did two videos. I did one before when it was just a moldy old loft. And then I did um, <laughs> one once it was finished. But it's a few years ago and it's not as tidy as that now. <laughs> it has a lot more things in it and it's uh, it's getting a bit busy now. 
Okay, so we are almost uh, close to announcing a winner, but we're gonna give everybody just a little bit more time. So the question is, if you were going to buy a die cutting machine for someone, who would it be and why would you get them that and which machine would you get for them? And you can tag them in the comments below as well. But before we announce the winner, <laughs> Christina has a special announcement. I do. <laughs> I'm gonna be back on, on Craft Stash channel next Friday. And next Friday, I'm gonna be sharing with you all the new Christmas dies that are coming out next week. And it's absolutely beautiful. It, it really is. You're gonna be so pleased with it to make your Christmas cards. But Craft Stash have also done what they've called a secret sale. And it's Super only secret. for you lot. It's only for you yes. on, on Facebook now. Yeah, so you can get Christina's new Christmas collection next, which is next week. It's going to launch next week, but you can get it now. There's a secret, super, super secret sale, and you can find that secret sale on the Craft Stash website with this URL. So it's craftstash.co.uk forward slash secret sale. And I think that's misspelled on that URL, but it's secret sale, like just S-E-C-R-E-T and then sale. So secret sale and the secret sale is that you can buy any three items from the new collection and get 30% off. And it's for a limited time, so don't miss out on getting, being like one of the first to get your to collection. Get them. Yeah. And then getting a discount on top of that, so. And I'm going to be doing lots of videos with the Christmas collection and adding them to the blog. Yeah, and she's gonna be back next week to share the complete collection next Friday and some cards for inspiration. And you're also maybe gonna do a demonstration on yes, a card perhaps? Yes. Oh, such great news. So yeah, don't forget to check out that secret sale. At, so that's craftstash.co.uk forward slash secret sale. And you can buy any three items from the new collection. You'll be able to see the new collection there. Maybe, maybe yeah. you don't have the funds, the means to buy the collection now. You can still go look at it and and plan out which ones you're gonna you're gonna buy next next week when it's officially launched. But the thirty percent off's got to have yes. happen. Yes. So yeah, any three items and you get thirty percent off from the new collection. So really exciting, and it's only for a limited time. So let's see. Let me check here if Jenny has not said. Sorry, today we're having Jenny help us out behind the scenes because Hillary, our Hillary, a social media manager, is also on on holiday. <laughs> So we don't have a winner just quite yet. Oh, Maria Roberts says, oh wow, love secrets. Oh, so do I, but I can't keep them. <laughs> if you've got a secret, don't tell me. <laughs> I'm a really good secret keeper. <laughs> so you can tell me. Uh, but yeah, we're so, we're so excited about this secret sale. It's only for you guys on Facebook. Like we're not announcing this anywhere else. No, it's not on my blog. It's not on Craft Stash's blog. It's just for Facebook. Yeah, just to, we like, we appreciate you guys tuning in every week so much. So we just want to do something special for you. So really excited about that. Uh, Julie String, let me read some more comments while okay. we're waiting for a Jenny to send over the winner of the giveaway. The three winners, actually, not just one, three, three people are going to win. Uh, sorry, who was it? Where did I leave off? Julie Stringer, she says, I love Christina's YouTube channel. Thank you. Yes, don't forget, she has like a million bajillion subscribers. <laughs> it's great. And she has lots of, lots of tutorials. Do you post every day? Um, or like... I do a blog post every day, but okay. I would say I do at least three videos a week, sometimes four, oh, okay. sometimes five. And I always do a Friday freebie. And that's with the cover mounts, because you know I, I do the cover mount videos for Craft Stash. Right. So with the cover mount gift and the card that I've made with that gift, I give that away every Friday, and that's usually accompanied with another video. Oh, nice. All right, nice. There it is. <laughs> Finally got the uh, message with the three winners. So let's see. Let's see what we got. Okay, so our three winners, you wanna hold up the prizes again? So you're it's each gonna fine. get. Yep, yeah, oh, that was backwards. <laughs> upside, oh, down. upside down, sorry. Here we go. Oh, and one die fell out. We'll get that. <laughs> we're not giving you these. We're giving you brand new sets, by the way. All right. 
So the three winners are uh, Linda by Cucus. I'm so sorry for saying your last name if I said that wrong, Linda. She says, uh, I would buy the mint limited edition Big Shot. It's a cool color, cut stidlets and the big dies. Uh, so good all around. And I would buy it for Amanda who makes cards for Alzheimer's research. And she has made over 400 pounds so far. Nice, nice. Okay, and then we have uh, Marie, Cl Marie Cleary. Well done. She says, started my eight and five-year-old granddaughters die cutting yesterday. The eldest has a spellbinder sapphire, which I bought for her quite some time ago, but she was more interested in my Sizzix, and I bought the youngest a spellbinder's prism. They had a great time giving them a whirl. They now can't wait for Sunday so they can come and start some of their uh, Christmas cards for friends. Great. Nice. <laughs> and she says, what have I started? <laughs> and the last winner is Jennifer Bruce. I would get the Gemini for my crafting, crafting aunt. She is 71 and has mobility issues now, so that would be easier for her to use. Mm -hmm. She loves die cutting as, and was the one who got me crafting in the first place. Aww. Nice. So yeah, well done. Congratulations to our winners, Linda, Marie, and Jennifer Bruce. Jennifer Bruce, Marie Cleary, and Linda Vaikukis. We will contact you after the show to get your mailing information so we can send out your price to you. Yep. This is what you'll get. Well, I think that's the end of our show. You're what warm. A busy day. <laughs> busy day. She's really warm. Yeah. I'm warm. It's warm. It was a good time though, and we talked all about die cutting, which is always fun. We did, and don't forget, I'll be seeing you next week as well. Christina will be back oh. next week with your new collection. With lots and lots of goodies. Christmas stuff. So exciting. Well, thank you so, so much for tuning in. Thank you for all your comments. We will read any of the com uh, comments after the yeah. show as well, because we can't read them all because there's so many. <laughs> but yeah. I'm good. You got any closing any closing comments? No, just thank you for joining us. <laughs> it's really nice to see you all. Yes. Thank you again. And Christina will be back next Friday. Next so Friday. she will see you then. Bye everyone. Bye.